Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Online. So today we're going to have a look at the opportunity which is in the game, the Covington Emerald. This is an opportunity accessible via any of your Blood Money contacts. Simply hit RB when you're in front of them and it will list any active opportunities. And you need some capitale to buy your way into these opportunities. Uh, there will be three of these in total, two more to be added to the game later as the summer progresses. And the first one in the game, the Covington Emerald, will cost you 15 capitale. And you can get your capitale via any of the the blood money missions you can also find it and if you progress through your quick draw pass rank system you will start to see them rewarded i've just reached rank 23 and been given 40 capitale for example so this is the cover to emerald and it's all about re retracing a precious gem for our contact guide of martelli so let's see how we get on So think of these missions a bit like the legendary bounty missions uh, in, as opposed to a, a standard bounty mission uh, for the bounty DLC and as such you can approach these in any way you like. For this mission you're told to head to the San Denis station and that's it and if you head towards the main entrance to the station you'll see it's totally locked down by the law enforcement. So you need to head round the back of the station because you're going to need to board a train and your target emerald is in a case in a chest on the train it's as simple as that and i find it extremely easy to do it exactly this way head through the two gates around the back of the station and you'll see that there is a train parked up next to the the train carriages which are where you might you might have been there before in the map to pick up some collectibles for example and just run onto the train as soon as you run onto the train you'll get a wanted level um, but if you run onto the front of the train most of the guards are at the back and there are no uh, mounted horses or anything like that to worry about at this stage just take out the policeman who's in the, the carriage and get yourself into a position of cover and take out any of the other the police officers the train is moving and it's not a straight track so you get a bit of an advantage there as you can actually um, get get a bead on your targets and shoot them there aren't that many to be honest um, make your way along the train carriages taking out any policemen as you go every time you run into a closed carriage as opposed to a sort of open top carriage you will have at least one uh, target or one adversary in there that you need to take out and if you do all of this before the train reaches the sort of the more southern part of the map as we get closer to Lagrasse for example and at Blue Water Marsh you will find that there are less police and law enforcement to worry about they all start to, to preside on the train as you get a bit closer to that area and um, once you've got your hands on the the emerald you can get off the train and again if you do this before the train picks up massive speed you'll do it without being killed you need to be a bit careful that you don't throw yourself off the train without thinking about exactly where you're going but i'll show you what i mean if you turn around at this point and head back towards the front of the train where the, the train is actually lower to the ground you're less likely to get hit by the, the rest of the train and look where I am just right over the swamp um, it's actually quite a decent place to, to disembark so do that and call for your horse straight away there will be quite a, f uh, a number of, of riding police officers that sort of converge on you as soon as you hit the ground so you need your horse to be uh, nearby and you need to jump on it and just lose the police that's basically it you need to lose that wanted level the police will be following you and they will continue to follow you until you get to about uh, a minute a, a kilometer away from your 
your drop off and then they'll drop back as with most of these missions just keep going and uh, drop it off and it is as simple as that I've done this a few times now and um, and it does seem to be the easiest way to do it and it doesn't seem to get any harder the the more I do it the one thing to mention is that these missions are all think of these a bit like uh, GTA um, contact missions the longer you take to do these and the harder it, it, the game assumes that it's been a harder process for you and you get paid more for taking longer with it so I did this in about seven minutes and it paid out um, about hundred and fifty dollars you can get more the, the longer it takes you can do this with a posse or you can do this solo and if you really feel like it you can turn around and take on the pursuing police officers but they will swamp you pretty quickly and before you know it you're surrounded by six or seven of them all shooting at you and as we know they're probably OP and you're you're not going to last that long make sure your guns are clean so that you can you can get a decent shot and you're not going to be held back by having your gun miss aiming or anything like that and if you do find yourself in a position like this where the police are trying to corner you and knock you off your horse you just need to get away from them just ride away in the other in the other direction um, if you can use a dual wielding handgun because you can f the, the quickest fire guns in the game that will allow you to at least get your body shots in if you haven't got time to line up for a headshot um, if you move around while you're riding I mean this might sound obvious but if you move around and instead of just staying in one direction um, you're less likely to to have them hit you but none of the drop-offs are that far away depending on precisely where you disembark the train you may have a five minute ride or as you can see here I, I came within about a kilometer away not even that really from the drop-off and all and they backed off um, and that's it there you go the Covington Emerald uh, all sorted and done and I'm looking forward to seeing how the the next two missions are added to the game and and um, it's a bit of a shame that there is only one because the content in this DLC hasn't been that hard to race through uh, but I'm excited and I'm pleased that um, we have some new content and I'm, and I'm really enjoying the new DLC so um, anyone wants to join me in my posse and have a go at these as a group then let me know in the comments below and keep your eye on my channel for the rest of the content I just put up a video this morning on the Jeb Phelps uh, contract and I'll be doing the rest of the content over the next few days Take care out there, stay safe and I'll be back very soon.